Okay, so this um, young lady said, I saw an ORMI video of them throwing stuff away. One girl even said, don't pack too much for the ORMI. Okay, so first and foremost, um, you just gonna have to take everyone's advice with a grain of salt. Like I always tell you, this is just my advice from my perspective, okay? And at any point in time, things can change. You can have a really nice drill sergeant or you can have a really mean drill sergeant, okay? And things can go according to however they feel like it's gonna go. What I wanna say about throwing stuff away, there's some stuff that just don't need to be thrown away. If you go there with some Bath & Body Works product, it's going to get thrown away. They're going to throw it away. So stick within the requirements of the stuff that you can bring. And I told you, like, if you have a backpack, you don't need to bring more than a backpack. So don't bring a whole slew of stuff. There really shouldn't be that much for them to throw away. They have to go through. I don't think you realize. Think about 60 girls all emptying their stuff out. They have to go through all that stuff. They're not just going to be sitting there going through your stuff one by one, throwing stuff away. The stuff that's going to, they're going to make you throw the stuff away. As a matter of fact, they're going to say, if you have this item, this item, and this item, before we check, make sure you throw it away. So most of the time, the stuff that's getting thrown away is stuff you had to throw away. Okay. If you bring some lacy panties or something like that, it's going to get thrown away. So as far as clothes is concerned, they be throwing, I saw them throwing away people's clothes like some girls wanted to wear boxers and just wanted to wear some things that had name brands on you cannot bring that stuff so don't wear it there and don't bring it with you don't give them a reason to throw your stuff away there should be no reason that nothing you bring is not within the requirements i'm telling you what they said you could bring i showed you the list that you get at reception so if you're bringing what's on that list what is there to throw away there's nothing to throw away right. okay um don't bring stuff that they're gonna throw away like I told y'all, when I went to MIPS uh, the first time, when I was doing my physical, I saw a girl came in there with, she had a suitcase, she had something on her back, and she had a double bag in her hand. That is way too much stuff. You only need a backpack. With that being said, you also have to realize that this is your new life, especially if you're going on active duty. You might not come back home, you might not be coming back home for some months. Okay? It might be like six, seven months by the time you come home. It might be a year by the time you come back home. So you're going to have to bring enough stuff. I wouldn't leave with nothing. Don't leave your house with nothing. Because another thing is, and I've said this, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Like I said, I'll link all the videos that I can link. Just go watch the Ormi playlist. Another thing they don't tell you is they're going to make you buy the stuff. Look at that, that list that I showed you. It said these are required items. So if you do not bring it, you're going to have to buy it. And that little card they give you, I think it had $350 on it. I showed you that in the video as well. That $350 that's taken out of your paycheck, you're going to spend it right back in the PX if you don't bring the stuff. So you're going to spend the money before you get there or you're going to spend the money when you get there. Either way, you're going to spend the money. So I would rather spend my money on products that I actually want, that I actually know that I like, than spend my money on some bull crap. And especially, like I told you, if you, um, if you got curly hair and things like that, you need to bring product. I bought edge control and I had to give them, I didn't have to, but I gave my edge control away so that the girls could braid other people here. You know why? Because people didn't bring nothing. You're listening to your recruiter. You listen to your recruiter and listen to other stuff. I'm just telling you, if, if you have to throw something away, don't you think you would rather have thrown it away than to been able to bring it and not have it? And I'm not saying bring, you know, all your most valuable things. Don't do that. But the things that you need, just make sure you get them within the regulation and you can bring them. Leave all your good clothes. Leave your good shoes. You know, if you got electronics and stuff like that, I bought my Apple Watch. No, I didn't. I gave my Apple Watch away. I did bring electronics, especially when I came back for Holly Block Leave. I remember I bought my Beats. Um, but going there, I just bought my phone and the headphones. I didn't bring my iPad. I didn't bring laptops. I wouldn't bring that stuff. They're not going to make you throw it away, but they are going to, they may confiscate it or they may put it in the locker. It depends. It could get stolen. It depends. One of the drill sergeants might steal it. It depends. I wouldn't bring all my good stuff. Bring what you're supposed to bring within the regulation, within the colors. Let me bring in no, I saw them throwing away people's bags, you know, little shower bags, because they were all pretty and frilly. You can't bring that stuff there, so don't bring it. There's no reason that they need to throw away your stuff if you bring in the wrong stuff. I remember, so I'm going to use this last example and then I got to go. Um, when I went to the PX, they were selling the little, we, I went in the winter in the winter time. So they were selling the little high hands thing. I bought, mm, I think you could only buy four, four for the hands, four for the feet. So I bought uh, four packets for the hands. When I got there, we, I bought it at reception. When I got there and I emptied all our stuff out, 
and we had empty all our stuff out of that base tray, they made us one, throw them away, or two, give them to the drill sergeants. We couldn't keep them, even though I spent my money on it at the PX. So maybe some things you're gonna have to throw away. It's up to the drill sergeants. And the reason why, before they let them bring that stuff and they changed their mind because there was a fire started with those hot hands. So I also bought Icy Hot. Um, I bought Icy Hot like there with me. No, I bought Icy Hot the PX. I bought a different brand there from home with me. They did not allow me to keep the Icy Hot. I had to throw it away, even though I bought it the PX. And the one I bought from home, I was able to keep, okay? And Tiger Bomb, they let us use Tiger Bomb. So it's all up to them what they let you bring. I told you how to package it. I will put it in little, I showed you that video, go watch the video. I'll put it in the little containers, label as this what it is, make sure it's not heavily fragrant. You're gonna be able to keep your stuff. They're not gonna just be walking through like throwing away stuff. They're not gonna do that. Food, contraband, of course you're not allowed to have contraband. But the stuff that you are allowed to have, you're allowed to have it. Okay, so as always, if you have a question, ask a question. This wasn't necessarily a question, it was a statement, but I wanted to address it because you just can't go believe in everything, you know. I want to see if you if you have a video of them throwing away some people's stuff, link it for me, and maybe I'll watch it and see like what were they throwing away. Because what do you I mean, did you bring your wardrobe or something? Don't bring all that stuff. There's nothing for them to be throwing away like that. Okay, so as always, if you have a question, ask a question. I'll see you in the next video.